OK, so let's talk about a non date type. So non date type is a special date type. It just means that there's no value. OK, um, it is similar to now in other programming languages. So it, like in Java, so it's called now. And also in database, um, relational database SQL. So they also have used now instead of now. So but they are the same thing. And to check if a variable is none, uh, so you can use is either is operator or use this double equation operator. However, so we prefer this one because this is kind of easy to understand. Um, and also remember that only none can be now. So for example, if you assign a variable a equals none, that variable is now. So only in that case, that is now. So if you have another variable like equals an um, a dictionary, so empty dictionary, so that is not now. Okay, so only in this case, we create a non variable. Okay, so let's look at that one in our uh, editor. So Let's see here, we see x equals none. And if we print the ID of x and also the ID of the none, and we can see they will have the same ID. OK, and so that's why that when you print x equals none, or if you print x is now, so both will return true, OK, because that is only none can be now. And remember, true is a Boolean data. So this is a Boolean data. So say just basically yes or no. And if you see y equals this one. OK, so can you imagine what does this mean? OK, so this means that we just defined an empty list and we use this variable to refer to this empty list. And now let's say we'll print y equals none and also print y is none. So can you guess what are the output? OK, so this should be false, right? Because both should be false because y and also none do not have the same values. So that's why it is false. And also y and none do not have the same ID. So that's why uh, the second uh, output is also false. So here we just have true and a false. So those are the two uh, Boolean data. OK, so since we are talking about Boolean data, so let's look at those Boolean data. So for the Boolean data type, there are only two values, true or false, or yes or no. OK, and for Boolean data, uh, we have three operators that we can use and all and also not operators okay so this is something that is a little bit interesting and also a little bit tricky uh, so this means slightly different from the math that we have learned okay so let's see how that works so if we are comparing two variables and all variable for the all variables if x is a false then the result will then the operator will return y otherwise it will return x okay so for example if we see uh false or true okay so the output will be like if x x is false it will return y so the the output is true x and y so in that case if x is false it will return x, else it will return y. So for example, if we say false and true, OK, because x is false, so it will return x, so it will be false. OK, so that is how it worked. Not x, so if x is false, it will return true, else it will return false. So that means not false will return true and also not true we are written false okay so those are the end all and also not operators okay so for all and also end operators they will check x first 
Okay, depending on the value of x, they will return either x or y. Okay, so that is all operators. Um, to make things uh, a little bit more complicated, in Python, empty data containers, okay, empty data containers like empty list, tuple, etc., empty strings. So that means if you define string, there's nothing within this string. So integer zero, float zero, and also none. The, the spatial data type, data type that we just mentioned are all considered false. Okay, so they are all considered false. All right, so now let's try something here. So this might be a little bit tricky. And so, um, okay, let's try something simple. So let's say print true and false. So what will be the result? True and false. True and false. So in that case, it will check x. Okay, x is not false, it will return y. So you see it is false. Okay, and let's try true or false. So in that case, true or false. So if x is false, it will return y. Otherwise, it will return x. So in this case, it will return x. Okay, so that is true. And if we say not true, that is simple. That is false. And if we say not false, it will return true. OK, so so those are very in, uh, simple. So what about this one? Not now. So what will be the output? OK, so now in Python is considered false. So not now will be true. OK, so if we run it, it will be true. OK, and how about this one? Not zero. OK, we know that a zero is considered false. However, in this case, this is not a, a number zero. This is a string zero. OK, so we know that for string, only empty strings will be considered false. So this is not an empty string. This is not a number zero. So that will be considered true. So not true, we will have false. OK, so not true, we will have false. Uh, you can try the others. So if you just use zero, that means zero is false. So not false, we will have true. OK, and if you try empty string, Empty string is false, not false, we will have a true. Okay. However, if we put that like this, and we will have false because this one, string zero, is considered true. Okay, and now let's try something more. So let's say print. In this case, we have an just an empty parentheses and square bracket. So this is a list and this is still uh, um, and this is a tuple but this is an empty tuple. So here we have an empty tuple and also we have an empty list. So what will be the result? Okay for and so this is false right so if x is false um, it will return x. OK, so it will return empty tuple. OK, uh, so if we switch those two data containers, empty data containers, we can see here in this case we have this empty uh, uh, list. OK, so let's try another one. So let's say negative one or zero. OK, negative one is considered true. OK, because it is not number zero. So negative one is considered true. So the, here we are essentially x is true and also y is false. For the all operators, if x is false, it will return y, else it will return x. 
So in this case, x is true. So it will return x. So that is negative 1. And if we switch those two numbers, in this case, x is false. So it will return y. OK. So in this case, we still have negative 1. All right. OK, so those are the uh, Boolean data and also and all not operators. OK, uh, so this table summarizes those basic comparison operators uh, different from the previous tables I shared. On the, for this table, you have to remember all those operators. OK, it, and also it's, it's very similar um, to what we have learned in math. So again, double equation are comparing two values. Uh, escalation mark equation means that not equal to. So you can also use this one, less than plus greater than those two symbols together, which is 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 uh, is uh, similar to this symbol, this operator. So that means not equal. Okay. So okay. So not equal to. Um, the others are similar to what we have learned uh, in, uh, in math. So great, great, less, great or equal, or less or equal. So those are the basic comparison operators in Python.